Hey, welcome back. I'm happy to let you know that I am releasing AZ500, which is Azure Security Engineer Certification. My name is Sushant Sudesh, and I'm going to be your trainer for this entire course. You can look me up on LinkedIn by using my first name and last name. If you would like to access the study guide, and download the presentation what I'm using for this course, you can visit a guide to cloud.com and you can download a copy as well. Along with LinkedIn, you would be able to find me on Twitter as well. As a professional, I work as a cloud solutions architect. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and an expert on Microsoft 365 and Azure. So this course provides IT security professionals with the knowledge and skills needed to implement security controls maintain an organizational security posture, and identify and remediate security vulnerabilities. This course is associated with a certification exam. And the certification exam is called AZ500 or Azure Security Engineer Associate course. When you sit for the exam, you will be measured on these primarily four skills. Manage identity and access, implement platform protection, secure data and application, and manage security operations. On the right hand side, you can see the relative weight on each of these skills. The higher the percentage, the more questions you can expect out of each topic. So this course is for Azure security engineers who are planning to take an associate certification exam or who are performing security tasks in their day-to-day -day job. This course would also be helpful for an engineer that want to specialize in providing security for Azure-based digital platforms and plays an integral role in protecting an organization's data. Apart from these video tutorials, you can refer contents from Microsoft Learn, Azure Documentation, Azure Forums, or you can watch YouTube videos from Azure Tuesdays with Corey or Azure Fridays with Scott Henselman. Other resources you could follow is Channel 9 or Azure Blog or Microsoft Learning Community Blog. I will make sure to bookmark some of these references in my study material so that you can find that over there. And last but not the least, you can refer to a Guide to Cloud YouTube channel for other certification content as well. I have divided this course into four modules. The first module, it's all about managed identity and access. In this module, I will take you through different topics like Azure Active Directory, Azure Identity Protection, Enterprise Governance, Azure AD Privileged Management, Hybrid Identity, etc. The second module is where I will take you through what is perimeter security and network security, how can you implement host security and how can you protect your container performing container security? Third module is where you're going to learn about Key Vault, app security, storage security, and database security. And on the fourth module is where you will learn about Azure Monitor, Azure Security Center, and Sentinel. And towards the end of each module, there is a knowledge check video as well. In the knowledge check video, in the knowledge check video, we will go through a few questions which will help us review the topics what we have learned and it will help us do a quick knowledge check on what we have learned so far. Let's understand some exam basics. I'm sure if you're studying for AZ500, you would have attended a Microsoft exam previously. So when you sit for a Microsoft exam, you can expect questions between 40 to 60. And not all questions were the same points. There are variations in terms of how the points are allocated. But one recommendation I would give is answer all the questions because there is no penalty for guessing. Total examination time would be around 180 minutes. So you can plan for 150 minutes for answering all the questions and rest of the 30 minutes, you can use it for reviewing, commenting, instruction, things like that. Definitely expect more than multiple choice questions. So what do I mean by that? So just don't go to the exam expecting that you're gonna just pick few answers from the mul multiple choice questions. Expect hot areas or active screen or drag and drop, match the following, build this, etc. And definitely there are going to be case studies. At least there are going to be a couple of case studies on AZ500 exam. And you most likely can get a lab scenario as well. All right, so that concludes episode one. In the next video, we are entering episode two. That's where we're going to learn all about Azure Active Directory and how you can use Azure Active Directory to secure your Azure environment. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it.